welcome to One Step to Beauty by Train. So, happy Halloween and this is going to be my Halloween look for this year. It's inspired by Moke1422 on Instagram, a very talented makeup artist, so please definitely check the artist out. Now, shall we continue to the process of me first attempt trying to recreate this look and see what went wrong. To start with, I'm using my all-time favorite duo Glow Maximizer to prime, then using Lancome Tin Idol Ultra Foundation. This foundation is new to me and I'm quite liking it. And just a little bit of duo Forever Concealer for the under eye since the foundation itself has pretty good coverage already. Next, I use the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eye Primer to prime. I get this Lancome palette from a holiday makeup kit a while ago and it happens to have all the colors I need to create this look. I'm using this dark purple for the crease area. I decided to work on the smoky eye first before working on the broken eye side because I'm not so confident with the face drawing. This is my first time recreating a look like this so I'm quite nervous to see how it's going to turn out. Of course the best secret to a good smoky eye is blending so I keep blending and blending until I get the effect I want. And for now, I'm going to put on some eyeliner to shape the eye before continuing working on increasing the intensity of this look. I find your art pen the easiest liquid liner to use, although it doesn't have the staying power and the black effect is I love in my Tarte Sax Kitten liquid liner. Don't get me wrong though, I just have really oily eyelids. Most eyeliners run on me, so this eyeliner actually works pretty well for most people. Now I'm going to add on more color to intensify the crease and blending everything in nicely for a complete look. Dior Brow Styler is my most favorite eyebrow pencil for natural everyday wear. I know I should have used a different one for this look specifically since it requires a more defined and thick brown shape, but for now I'm just going to go with what I have and keep applying for a darker brow. Then moving on to the other eye, for this eye look, the eyeshadow color is quite simple. I'm using a light pink shimmer shadow for all over the eye and applying a thinner eyeliner with no extended wing to make my eye appear rounder. Added to the dull eye effect, I use this NYX white eyeliner to apply to the lower eyelid. So for the eyebrow on this side, I'm using the brow fixer from Chivanchi and a little brown eyeshadow to build a thinner shape. For now, I'm going to use the Dior Art Pen Eyeliner to draft up the shape that I want. I'm going to fix the brow a little bit on the top corner of this eyebrow and adding a little brown gel from Lancome. To give this eye a little more pale skin, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Concealer in Porcelain to paint all over the eye area and conceal half of my eyebrow to make the eyebrow look even sharper. So now I'm using Bobbi Brown Concealer in Porcelain and Dior Contour Stick in number 2 for contouring. The mistake that we usually make in contouring is keep smudging our beauty blender but please remember that dabbing will create a much more beautiful effect. This part can be super time consuming but it can make all the difference. Now I'm going back to putting more details into the face drawing that I was doing earlier and finish the look with a pale pink lipstick. I actually decided to change up a little bit and adding a little more pink to my doll eye side and also switch up to a new pair of fake eyelashes that create a more intense look. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming. Don't forget to leave any comment. I really, really appreciate all your support.